Back in early 2020, when I went on my first intermittent fast, there was a side benefit that I quickly noticed, aside from the, the mental health benefits of the fasting, aside from losing a little bit of weight at the beginning. I went on my first fast on, uh, what was that, uh, Lent, at the beginning of Lent. And I did so well on that that I decided to repeat it a couple more times. Um, I went on a fast at the beginning of Fukushima, at the anniversary of Fukushima. And then, um, oh, when the WHO declared that COVID-19 was a pandemic, I went on a fast for one day at the beginning of that. And we hadn't locked down in Seattle yet at that point, if I remember correctly, that, that, that fast. Now, and then we locked down. Now... I get my credit card bill at the middle of the month, every month, and so on the 15th of, what was that, uh, March, I got the bill, and I got a little bit of a bill shock. A pleasant one, though. It was a lot lower. I had a, I usually use uh, the, the credit card for my uh, 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 food each month, and I pay the entire bill off every month, but I got a little bit of a bill shock. And the light bulb went off in my head, right, because I love talking about investing in silver, I love talking about investing in uh, the mining stocks and foreign uh, uh, f uh, foreign stock market and uh, what else uh, and sometimes rare art as well. I love investing in stuff like that. And the light bulb went on in my head that every time we eat or we uh, decide where we're going to live or what else relationships, right? Uh, those are all investments in ourselves, right? In our in our capital, if you will, and um, it, it forced me to rethink about my eating habits, right? So in the in, sometimes I get carried away and I binge eat, and I let's say I spend twenty bucks on food that makes me ill, and now I'm not feeling good. I'm overweight. It affects my uh, uh, character when I go out. It affects. Um, I'm eating and it affects my social life. And I'm thinking to myself, I'm, I'm spending $20 to destroy my social life, my professional life, uh, my image and all that. There are other better ways to spend 20 bucks, or I shouldn't say spend, invest 20 bucks, right? For example, in 2020, um, well, actually this year I made a resolution to get over my fear of loud environments. And I could much better use that as an investment, the, the money instead of wasting it, putting it on my waist, right? I could invest it on getting over my uh, fear of loud noises. Lately, I've been taking up bowling. And I find going to the bowling alley, especially during a loud event, to be very helpful. And I think that's a much better investment into my, uh, uh, I guess you can call it human capital of some sort. And it makes it nowadays. Every time I use, I, I spend money. I think, is this a good investment? Right. What are some ways to, to besides investing in physical assets? What are some ways to invest in yourself? Well, obviously, healthy food. Right. And that's unfortunately a lot of people don't invest very well there. Right. They eat stuff that makes them sick, and then they gotta spend money on medical care. Right. They, they get a negative return. Not only just a negative return, but the the entire investment balance goes negative. The way some people eat. Right. Um, investing in connections, right? So one of the reasons I love going bowling is that aside from investing in my mental health of getting over my fear of loud noises, I'm investing in the, the right connections over there, right? Now, earlier today, I saw on my Facebook feed how um, because uh, we don't have Trump uh, champion, championing the um, drilling oil here in the United States, how gas prices could go up to five, six dollars a gallon. And I'm thinking when gas hits five or six dollars a gallon, I probably have a better chance of carpooling with other people to work, right? Assuming we're not working remotely anymore. And then I could potentially meet the right connections, right? That's another good investment, right? Um, investing in, um, even when stuff goes wrong, right? When I go bowling and I end up getting into a fight with somebody, that's an investment in learning how to prevent future conflicts, right? And so, so I want you to treat every dollar, even when, when, when you think you're spending money, try to treat it like an investment. And I think you'll do a whole lot better that way. Thanks for watching.